Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be doing a beauty haul. So I'm going to be showing you all the things that I have picked up from Superdrug. I've got a bag full of bits. I did get some stuff from Primark and Boots as well but this is you know a super drug bag. Some of these bits was purchased a few weeks ago and I have included them in a couple of videos before this one and some of the things you haven't seen and others of them I picked up a few days ago. So I'm going to go through them, discuss why I've got them and just kind of generally talk about these products and why I bought them. So when I buy makeup products or beauty products these days I do tend to keep it quite minimal and not buy too many. I know a lot of YouTube videos these days people do hauls and they're like 25 minutes long and they mention like a hundred products that they've bought or probably most likely been sent. I'm not like that. I'm the kind of person that thinks buy what you need or buy what you want but don't be ridiculous. You know you don't need 10, 15 highlighters that kind of thing. Just you know be a little bit more clever. So these things you know there's not that many but I've bought things and there's a reason why I've bought them. So that's what I'm going to discuss. So I'm going to start off with something that makes sense to start off with and it is this Primark Primer Water. So I picked this up from Primark for £2. It says that it preps the skin for makeup application and hydrates and refreshes and it's just something that I saw and thought this probably doesn't do anything but I want to try it anyway and it makes me feel better. So when I'm doing my makeup I actually apply this before my makeup goes on. I'll as sort of like a primer. It makes me feel very refreshed when I use it and it also makes my makeup go on a little bit better and what I mean by a little bit better is I mean that kind of my face is a lot more smoother and when your face is a little bit wet the foundation goes on slightly better so I quite like this and I think it'll be quite nice for summer on like a refreshing you know mist of a product just on a hot summer's day so yeah I picked that up for two pounds so you know we're not breaking the bank so far and then I also purchased this this is from Revolution and this is the Revolution brow tint it is a semi-permanent brows at home for up to three days and basically you're supposed to dye your brows with this product one night or one morning or whenever and then leave it on for 30 minutes and then peel it off and your brows are dyed. My brows are dyed currently. Um, as you can see, I've not done anything to them. I don't do my brows anymore in terms of applying any product. I just dye them now because I just find it such a faff to, you know, have to dye your brows and things like that. So I just, so I find it such a faff to just do your eyebrows every single day and then I don't know it's just annoying it was the chore of my makeup and I just didn't enjoy doing it so now I actually enjoy doing my makeup a lot more because I don't have to do my eyebrows and I dye them the night before so this is what the actual applicator looks like it does look black I did get mine in the shade medium brown they have a lighter one as well it looks black but when you actually remove it it doesn't it looks like a brownie color so this is the shade it looks like obviously you know you can do your eyebrows how you want you just literally almost paint it on in sort of like the style that you would like your eyebrow to be in and it's completely up to you so you can go as natural or as fake looking as you want but this does tend to give more of a natural finish which is why I like it so I picked that up and that is only five pounds Maybelline do sell one of those and that was quite popular on YouTube which is 11 pounds and they're actually identical I do not notice a difference at all. I have then picked up a couple of brushes. The first one is from Revolution. This was actually half price which is why I picked it up. So it's from Revolution Pro and it looks like this and basically it's just a foundation applicator. It says it's meant for like a liquid foundation so you can actually squirt your foundation onto the brush directly and then buff it in. It is a really really good brush. I've used it a few times already and I quite like it already and I just fancied a change in my brush. I still have my other foundation brush and I will still use that for you know occasionally but it's nice to mix it up and I got this half price so £3.50 and just thought I might as well and then the other brush that I did pick up on that day was actually from Primark and this was just a powder brush I do need a new powder brush so that's why I purchased this because I need a new one my old one it's kind of breaking a little bit it's caked up with foundation caked up with makeup obviously I could wash it but because the brush itself is breaking a little bit I thought I'll just pick this up this was £1.50 from Primark, absolute bargain, 
would recommend their brushes it's so 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 soft and works really really well as a powder brush so um i would recommend i then also got this from revolution and it is the revolution multi liner nudes it's four nude retractable lip liners and it basically looks like a pen i bought one of these for my friend steph i can't remember whether i got her the nude one or not but i brought it for my friend steph for her for christmas and i wanted to try one for myself so this i believe this is five pounds so a really decent price and basically it's got four separate lip liners as you can see around the top i have got um this as a lip liner on my lips today and this is the one that i used and you basically push it down the product comes out the bottom and you apply it and then yeah, so it's really definitely 100% worth the money. The reason why I like this rather than a pencil eyeliner is because pencil eyeliners you have to sharpen and sometimes that ends up breaking the ends off and it's just a complete faff. You need a sharpener and I don't like it. And this, you don't need a sharpener with it. You just literally twist it and more product comes out and I really, really like that fact. So yeah, would recommend giving this a go actually. And I think I would rebuy this when I finish or when I run out, which will probably be in a very long time. So I'm very happy about that purchase. 100% worth the money. Next thing is this from Primark. It is the Shade Adjusting Drops. This was £3. I have a foundation up in my room that is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. And it's too dark, uh, sorry, it's too light for me. And I don't know, I just don't want to use it if it's the wrong shade. I just... I kind of buy other foundations or I reach for other foundations and I want to use it because it is my favourite foundation when it's the right shade. So I purchased these darkening drops and then that means that I can slightly darken that up a little bit. I do have lightening drops as well. So I've got lightening drops and darkening drops. So no matter what shade of foundation I purchase, I will always be able to make it into the right shade for me. So they were £3 from Primark. And then I got this, which is a highlighter. This is uh, the Obsession Mega Destiny Highlighter. Now, I saw this in Boots, and I've never seen this brand before. I don't know if I've just been, like, hidden away from the world or whatever, but I've never seen this brand before. I think it is new to Boots, but correct me if I'm wrong. And this is one of the highlighters that I saw in there. They had loads of different shades for different, obviously, skin tones and things like that. But this is the one that I picked up. It's kind of like a golden-y shade. I have got it on my cheeks today. So if you're wondering what highlighter I'm wearing, it is this one. It is super-duper shimmery. It's like a goldy kind of colour. But it is very kind of almost subtle. It's almost wet-looking, in my opinion. It blends in so much easier. I have got one other highlighter in my collection and it is the w7 highlighter i'll show you it because i've got it next to me and that's more of a goldy tone so you can see the difference this one's kind of gold and this one's kind of like a rose gold and i just really really like it it's better than the w7 one in my opinion it blends into my skin a lot better it looks more like kind of a natural finish sometimes when people apply i um apply highlighters you can see like a streak of color up their cheekbones but with this you can't see the color of it you can just see the fact that it's a shimmer and i really like this so i would recommend because this was only three pounds which is very very good and then finally to finish us off i'm going to mention a couple of products that were actually in my january favorites but i thought you know i bought them recently so i'll just throw them into this video and the first one is this rimmel maxi blush this is in the shade number four sweet cheeks I picked this up um, a while back. Like I said, I have mentioned this in my January favourite. So if you want to go and watch that, I'll link it down below. So I won't wrap it on too much, but I purchased this because I wanted kind of a peachy blusher. Absolutely love peachy blushes. And this one is no exception to that rule. I've got it on my cheeks today. Love how easy it blends and it's very pigmented. So I do quite like that. And then finally, this bronzer from the collection. It is the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer. And does it have a shade yeah it's in the shade number one terracotta it's quite a warm toned um bronzer which i'm not really used to but i really really like it i think it's my favorite bronzer i've ever used highly pigmented very kind of warm toned and it just looks not necessarily natural because you know most makeup products don't look natural but i do really really like it and i have got it on my skin today so yeah it just adds that element of you have a tan so that is everything that i purchased from superdrug and boots and 
Primark. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video because I don't know, I just want to have a bit more content on my channel. I know I didn't get tons of things, but you know, I'm just a normal person. I don't have excessive amounts of money to spend on, you know, excessively expensive makeup products. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I would like it if you could subscribe to my channel. I will see you very soon in a new video. So goodbye.